Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Stocks in Review for the upcoming week. I wanted to take a few minutes at the end of this video to show you how accurate my stock picks were for the last two months. Overall, I recommended 23 different stocks, most for short-term swing day trades, and every stock went up the following week. Two of the 23 went up 1%, but more than half went up double digits in just the following week. I'll show you the specifics after we look at some recommendations for the week of April 10th to the 13th. This week was full of uncertainty. Every which way you turn, there was geopolitical factors that weighed on investors. A chemical attack on Tuesday that horrified the world in Syria, a visit from the President of China with President Trump, the unexpected missile strike on a Syrian airfield, North Korea continuing with their nuclear provocations, and now Russia sending a warship into the Mediterranean Sea. A lot of investors assumed that the markets would drop significantly, but most of our allies were happy President Trump took a swift and decisive stand Thursday evening. The unemployment rate dropped for another month to 4.5%, but the lower than expected job gains seem to have had a bigger effect on the markets than the geopolitical issues. Let's take a look at our first stock, Naked Brand Group, ticker symbol NAKD. A merger was announced about a month ago, and more news is expected out within the next 7 to 10 days. I like the volume and the spikes with this stock, and I think if you could enter in the high $1.90 range or low $2, you could scalp a quick 35 to 55 cent profit. Next, we're going to look at AK Steel Holding ticker symbol AKS. If you can find an entry point in the mid to high $6 range, I think you could walk away with a 15 to 19 percent of an upside in the coming week or so. Catalysts here include completion of a research facility in Ohio, as well as buyout rumors that could push this over $12 a share. This is definitely one to watch. There's been a lot of accumulating going on over at PLX and AUPH. Any day now, we should get data on Protolex Therapeutics. It's been trading in a very narrow range all week. Personally, I was able to average down nicely and will be ready to sell it when she pops. One thing I really like about PLX is that it has a nice healthy pipeline of drugs, which is never a bad thing when investing in small bio stocks like this. Arinia Pharmaceuticals has also been trading quite narrowly. Last Monday, it was basically $7 a share and closed today at $7.05. Thursday was a great day to average down. Hopefully, you had an opportunity to do so. We look for results from the full 48-week data from its successful Phase 2B trials. Watch for more dips. Anything in the $6 range is a bargain. Next, we look at Canadas Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol CNAT. Another great day trade with nice volume and consistent spikes. An entry in the low to mid $4 range would be ideal. The latest catalyst here was a recently completed investor presentation and a healthcare conference show. The company entered into an exclusive licensing agreement for its chronic liver disease drug. Finally, we look at a real penny stock, Cobalt International Energy ticker symbol CIE. In addition to having a beautiful chart, four analysts have rated this a buy or strong buy and four a hold. There's no sell recommendations noted. This company operates as an oil and gas exploration and production company in the deep waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It's headquartered in Houston, Texas. Be especially careful with penny stocks and how much you invest. They're much riskier than most of the stocks we talk about here. Before I go over my scorecard for the last two months, I want to remind you that investing in the stock market is risky. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Most of my recommendations are for very short-term day trades unless otherwise noted.
Thank you so much for watching. If you found the information helpful, we'd really appreciate if you could like this video and click subscribe.